Oh dear kitty, I'm coming! Oh good, you're still alive. I was very, very concerned. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty, it worked! Come out, let me hug you! Oh, It is my kitty. Aww. Something's gonna go wrong. Oh, Let's just bask in the happy. Oh, this feels so good! I'm free, friend, my good friend! You are free, my dear, now it's time to go home! Yes, let's go! Find Mr. Midnight! I got an achievable! Well, actually, let's go this way. This way. Can I leave through here? Stop pawing at the dead body! Um... We need to get home, kitty. I hope the way back home isn't far away. Oh, so two frame, we can do this together. I can help you. Okay. Let's go out here. Rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. I did it, Sir Toad! The girls are gone! That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will, how you will get out of here? That is, there is no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable. It would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Hmm. <gasps> Mr. Midnight, do you have some ideas on how to get out of this place? I'm sorry, I don't. Maybe somebody else has some ideas. Let's see if the ghost you is still here. Nope, okay. <laughs> I can't swim in Mr. Midnight is so afraid of water. Too tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I looked it up and I'm supposed to give the toad the uh, baking powder. Why? I don't know. Take this toad, it may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here it goes. That actually worked, okay. It worked, it really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Mid Come, Mr. Midnight. Oh my, I don't know what that was turning into. Uh, sure, Fran, I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty! Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Oh. And this book was with it, too. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh, I'll take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Ah, oh, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Forward! All right. Freaking Gamma Bunta there. 
Oh my god, we're playing Frogger. This is strange. This is very strange. Oh my god, really? Okay. Okay! Was that all I need? Oh, there's more stages. Of course there is. I got an achievable. Cool. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all of the scary things will disappear. I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Oh, kitty. What will be the first thing you do when we get, we get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. And you? <laughs> I think I would like the same. I wouldn't blame either of you. Actually, I'm gonna go over here and try the pill. Oh my god! Oh dear, baby skeleton. I guess they didn't make it in time. Good night and sweet dreams. Okay. Sir, are you the curious insects that got stuck? They're sleeping. Maybe they're not stuck. Well, I hope they have their hair comb. Uh, we can't help them. So, I'm gonna... I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what sen my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. Leon Castillo, one of the thousand. My name is Leon. I am currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence. Come with one with everything. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Right, because it hurts. Oh, fantastic. Uh, December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside of my head. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me tell me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, KILL YOURSELF! And I've tried, hypnotized by his words, but there's always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. I meet a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Kamalas. The race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I ask about it. I asked about the possession of human bodies and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kimalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. 
The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the camel lost, calmed down, and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go to where I belong. Where I belong. Thirsta awaits. All Valogas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. The answer after a while. It faded away. Look at us. February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall from more from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ithursta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Valakas invitation. Since I saw the Valakas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head and a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. March 13th, 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son, he thinks I'm insane. July 25th, 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut away all social, social law, law, meh, laws and only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws but also behaviors chemical behaviors natural laws without these behaviors without these laws we wouldn't exist sometimes i wish to be a leaf on the ground calm while dying dying sorry i'm trying to insert l's where they don't belong i don't get it <laughs> november 11th 1876 Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds, then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with pink liquid inside, in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells, but at a very high speed. November 22nd. Not quite, right? 1876. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in Ithers are varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned the language and numerology. Oh! Interesting. The Great Valakas is the beginning of the first reality. For me, light. Valakas shield. The Valakas body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They are also both male and female. When the youngster reach age 299,792,459, they are crowned with the shield. They are creation of the Great Valakas, king of Ithursta, second reality, life. Being in the thirst, it feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's like, it's where leaves sing while falling off of the tree and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence. F-R-E-E -E, resides in the human world through reality. Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. Sinner Seed. Sinner City. Too many weird words. Uh, the end of vibration with both ends of opposites are at the same degree. Resides in third and fourth reality, death. Mabuka is the end of light. March 23rd, 1877. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love. It's everywhere in, in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. No date recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments, that's why they look like they're growing hair in the big faces, mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's creative force, one with, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. And the rest of the pages are gone. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, all right, then you can follow me. All right, kitty, you are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Thank you. 